hello guys welcome to tech world today i am going to show you how to make a mobile and application in kotlin we are going to start this with simple login application i hope you all have the android studio so click on the start new android studio project mm, just name this application as login application for the kotlin support you just have to take this include kotlin support okay next next i'm going to use an empty activity activity name main activity that's cool for me okay finish okay so building login application gradle gradle project info So all we need to for an login application is just two text fields where we can enter username and passwords and a button for login. Okay. So we will start from the we will start from designing part first. Okay. So I am going to my XML for main activity. Okay, I need this too. Uh, we don't need hello world here. Okay, so I just don't like constraint layout, so, so I'm just going to change this to relative layout. Okay, I'm adding a linear layout. my contents of edit text and button okay so the orientation will be vertical now we need an edit text where we can enter username so the hint will be username sorry and another edit text where we can enter password okay that's cool so as you can see the password should be the input type of the password should be should not visible to anyone so i'm just going to change this input type to text password so that no one can see your password okay so here we go with uh, we have to edit text for username and password now we just need a button for clicking to login okay uh, with wrap content height wrap content the text of the button will be login I don't like text all caps so I'm going to make it false so that text in lowercase can also appear on the login button okay I'm going to give this ID as login underscore button ID for the password field will be ID password underscore button sorry password underscore et you can name any um, you can give any id to i am just putting this naming convention for my ease ok username et that's it for the designing i think ok so let's make this in center horizontal okay that's cool let's give it some margin okay so in kotlin you uh, you don't need to bind the views of an activity to its xml Kotlin is smart enough to get its 
views directly you can access them directly like uh, i am going to add set uh, cl uh, set on click listener on the login button so just i have i don't have to do anything i just have to say that login button and set on click listener that's it it will be enough for kotlin to understand that the login button of the main activity is clicked okay so on the login button we have to check whether the credentials are right or not okay to check that i am going to put an if condition that if username text equals just take this as a string equals like uh, we go we want my username will be tech world and and password will be password okay that's cool if condition is true we will give a string logged in success fully else we will give this login fail okay so we can directly get this value in a variable like this so in kotlin you don't need to define any variable that which type of variable data type of the variable kotlin is smart enough to know which type of the variable this will be okay so this is optional you can also add this as like this like this is a string so for now we don't need it so just remove it okay so now we have a status our status login status and uh, just make i'm going to make a toast of it make toast okay that's it so what this code will do this code on clicking on login button it will check whether the username is tech world and the password is password or not if the condition matches it will give a string logged in successfully to the status else it will give login fail to the status and next we just have to show whatever is the status okay so let's go and run this and check whether it is working or not okay next is 5x okay that's okay for me so as you can see now just tech world password will be password okay so now i am going to press login so it shows me logged in successfully let's try with invalid credentials now i am going to say 1 2 3 4 5 6 and try to login it says login fail okay if you have any query let me know in the comment section thank you